Yo, what's up guys? It's Po it's King MimiQ and welcome back to some more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. In the last episode, we finished up the school forest. We got through all of those floors. And also, we learned about Luplets and Emras, also known as Minecraft and Diamonds. And what did you guys think of my friend earlier? I know he didn't talk too much last video, but what did you guys think of him? Was he cool? Was he alright? Was he decent? Let me know in the comments. Uh, today's episode, we're hopefully going to finish Glittery Mountain, maybe figure out what else is going to happen. And yeah, let's go ahead and head into there. Uh, sorry I didn't record earlier, I was going to, but, you know, I was a little busy. There we go. Wow, we're already at the stairs, wow. We're starting off with entering the stairs. So, how is your guys' evening going so far, or night, depending on what time you're- Ooh, someone picked up Power X. I want that. You know I want Power Boost X. I want Power Boost X. You know I want Power Boost X. Where's Dino? Where's Dino? Where are you? You don't know how good this Emerald is. It's such a useful Emerald. I think this is him. Holy God, he has Dragon, Age, Dra Dragon Rage. That's not good. Yes, uh, we're gonna give that to... Esper, I say, because Esper has the better stats than Deerling, and I think Esper should get a bigger boost. Oh, you want to go? 24, uh, that should take him out. Okay, pick up that Ornberry. Holy dear, Esper is relentless. She's like, I'm going to go after a random macho machop and just side beam it. Esper, you are such a great mon. Is this an excessive force? We're going to use that. Uh, do we want that apple? You know what? We'll pick it up. We'll eat it. Even though we're practically eating fruit off the ground. Which isn't healthy for, uh, Charmander. For Blaze. Uh. Let's see. Oh, you want to go, Meditite? Goodbye, Meditite. Oh, I'm out of Flame Burst. That's not good. That's not good. Do we have any Lictors? We have one Max Lictor. And you know what, we'll use it up because, uh, should we take on this Machop? You know what, we'll take him out because he's right there. Esper's got the, uh, Mankey. Oh, I missed. Oh, good job, Esper. What ammo is this? Lullaby, I'll give that to Deerling. Because Deerling needs something that can help her. Deerling, you want to take care of that thing? job. What emerald is that? Deerling? What did you just pick up? You picked up a barrage emerald. And this is one of the most useful emeralds. I'll read it. You may not be able to see it, but I'll read it anyways. Holding a loop with this emerald sometimes enables you to use a move one more time. It's a pretty useful uh, emerald. And I, for one, am taking that one because, you know, I love that emerald. It's my favorite emerald. It's my bread and butter. Hopefully I didn't make you guys hungry. Bread and butter tastes so good. Uh, tomorrow after work, I don't know what time I'm going to record. Maybe after work, I don't know. I guess I'll let you guys know. Oh my god, Asper, you're relentless. You just want to murder birds. What emerald is this? Clutch Performer, you know, we'll use that. Uh, what em What's this? Slumber Orb. That's not a bad item to have. You wanna go, Dino? Oh! Bagon, you wanna go, buddy? Can you use Ember on Esper? Laughable damage. Deerling. You know, I just realized we all have Power Boost X. We are... You know what? Let's pick up this item. We all have the same Emra. I'll pick that up. I don't need too much apples. I think I should make it through this dungeon. 
Ha, see? I can hit more than once. I can hit more than once, you guys. That's that's why I like that Emra. It's a really good one. So if you guys are playing Super for the first time, that's a very useful Emra. I suggest for you guys to pick it up. It can make you hit more than once. So if you're afraid of uh, losing, you think you got those guys? Oh god, they're fighting types. Deerling, hang in there. I got this Garmer right here. Oh no, she's gonna die. Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure she can finish that one off. You know, we might want to go help her. She might not last too- Oh, wait a minute. You got it, girl? Good job. That's- that's taking initiative. Lullaby, I'll take that. We have three good emeralds. Lullaby, Barrage, and... Harbus X. Which are very useful emeralds indeed. Lullaby, if you make contact with a Pokemon, sometimes it'll put them to sleep. Uh, Plain Seed. I'll swap that. Sorry, just let me fix that. There we go. Oh, there was an elixir on that floor. Whatever, we have enough. We only have two floors to go. This is a 10 floor dungeon. Use a fighting. Use a fighting type move. I know you have junk kick. Oh, it's it's Demon Lord. It's the Demon Lord, uh, Scraggy. It's the Demon Lord Scraggy. If you know, don't know who he is, uh, that means you haven't played Gate. One more four. Um, uh, here's the question of today. What is your guys' favorite Eevee evolution? Was it Sylveon, Espeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon? What is it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, why are you running away from me? Why are you running from me? Get out of here, Mankey. Mankey's trying to run away from me. He's like, goodbye, boys. You weak, Skarmory, you weak. Boom. Uh. Good job, dearling Esper. That was teamwork. I might die. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Level 11. That's pretty good. Uh. <laughs> we made it through. We've come pretty high. We've climbed pretty high up. Hmm? What's the matter, Esper? This way. We got to pink our golden flags. Is this? Maybe this is the peak of Glittery Mountain. Look over there. I need a cup of coffee. Those are those flags, and there are two of them, which means we appear to be the first ones to arrive, and we've cleared the dungeon. Come on, let's hurry back. Impressive, congratulations. Team Super Honorable Master Watchdog. Do you not remember what you called us? Wasn't it Super X, Super Honorable Watchdog, Super Team or something? Or was it Excellent Team Vice Principal Watchdog? Oh, never mind. Congratulations all round. Good job, dearling Esper and Blaze. While on the other hand, why is everything always my fault, huh? Because you're always so annoying. I can't focus at all when you're around and being such a pain all the time. And on top of that, you're always rushing off into dangerous places. Isn't that what it means to have an adventure? 
all it means is that we never actually cleared the stupid dun- Wow, Panjam, you couldn't even make it out of that dungeon. Sad. You're weak. My, my, indeed. You'll never clear a dungeon with that kind of terrible teamwork. Hold on a second, are those two- Are they even listening to me? I hate this part of my job. Why do problem children have to be so problematic? Everyone, please, else, please- Everyone else, please take care that you don't end up like those two. I'll be dealing out extra assignments to both of them later. For everyone else, class is dismissed. Off on your way. Suck it, Pancham. You have to do like 30 pages of homework after school that day. Goodbye, Miss Hardeno. She's like, Esper has a cold. Yes, goodbye for today. Have a safe trip home. Esper has a cold or something. Miss, Miss Audino, I hope you'll f give me some real TCF, TLC. What does TLC mean? I want you guys to let me know in the comments. What does TLC stand for next time I faint in a dungeon? Now, now, I have none of that cheek from you. Unless you'd like me to drop you off in a really frightening dungeon. Oh, with freaking uh, fire types. Nice. Huh? But if it was just you and me going, he, wow, she's hitting on the doctor. Stop that. She's gonna double slap you, Shelmet. Huh, Blaze? Are you walking home alone? Where's Kobe? Rushed off, what, rushed off alone again. I see. Well, then you'll just have to walk together with us. But why hasn't Kobe co been coming together with you anymore? You didn't come to school together this morning either. Until now, I thought the two of you had been getting along so well. Huh? Kobe and you had a talk? How could you understand me thinking? Dealing, are you secretly a psychic? And you suggested that Kobe might be a bit annoying? Hmm, so that's it. Kobe is usually quick to recover from disappointments, but... Perhaps this time, this t this time stung a little too much. Wow, he got stung by a bee drill. But that doesn't mean what you said was wrong, Blaze. You had to be honest, after all. It's true that Kobe tends to drag everyone into trouble more often than not. Huh? What is it? I'm using my finger emotions. Can you s understand sign language? You want to know how we feel about Kobe? It's not like I don't like Kobe. Kobe's always cheerful and fun to be around. So I don't dislike Kobe really, but I have ended up in dangerous situations because of Kobe's adventures. Dangerous situations? Well, you know how Kobe will walk right into places that even adults avoid? Kobe calls it an adventure and drags others in it. Gets to be a bit much. Gumi has gotten a little tired of all that. And I don't hate Kobe or anything, but there is a limit on how reckless one can be. Sometimes I just have to say no. I see. I didn't really notice when I first arrived here in this world, but Kobe isn't actually that close to all the other kids. Nope, he's probably an alien. No, I'm not going to save. Chapter 5, Harmony Scarves. Ooh, there's going to be a new character happening in next episode, hopefully, and if I meet him... You guys are going to love that voice I'm going to give them. So, toodles for that. Oh, it's Nuzleaf. Oh, awake already, Blaze, I reckon. Well, good morning to you. Nuzleaf, he's back already. He's been gone for three years. He's probably been, like, old and crippled or something. Sorry for leaving you by your lonesome like that. I bet you missed me, huh? Huh? What's that? You didn't miss me not- No, I missed you! Well, now, that's a bit disheartening to hear, but never you mind. Tell me, you recollect anything about yourself and your past yet? Any more sign of them, BM? Mmm, it's a shame you ain't remembered nothing new, but at least you ain't had to face any trouble here on your own, either. And how's school life treating you? No problems, I hope. I'd feel awful bad if the other kids were picking on you or anything that sort. Nah, but I did get punched by a, pan a panda. That's different. 
Truly? That was my biggest concern, so I'm right I'm right glad to hear that. I reckon we might keep plugging along like this and see how things turn out. And for you that means another day of going off to school like a good little student. Are you my dad? Am I secretly a Nuzleaf? Looks like I'll be walking to school on my own again today. Hmm. I wanna go talk to his dad again. Walk into his own home. Karakost is gone. He's abandoned his- Ooh! Am I stealing his berries? He does have an orange field. Well... What are you doing, Pants, here? Show me whatever you want to eat. I'll sear it in no time for you. You're gonna cook my orange berry I just picked up off the ground? That's nasty. That's nasty. That is nasty. Huh? Seems like there's a crowd around the village entrance. What's going on? So, how did it look? How did it look? I tried to get a decent look around, but it was no good. They're all worked up. But it will be all worth it when I get some delicious honey out of the end. Delicious honey! Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's right. Our Nectar Meadow. They're starting on their annual. Huh? Aren't you? Badoo. Rosalia's little one. How do you know? Honey making season has begun, child. Many Pokemon like Beedrill and Chloe all gather together to make heaps of honey. Oh, and the honey that I say make it is the best. Just a little to taste is enough to make me jumpy for joy. Yeah! Jump for joy! It's a, nat it's a nutritional powerhouse to boot. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear till they're done. Especially a wee child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wild birth at this time of year. Honey making, huh? I wonder, I wonder what that delicious honey is like. I wouldn't mind a taste. That probably is like so good. They probably make really good honey. Who likes honey on their, their bread? Who puts honey on their bread when they make a sandwich? Oh, look, it's Vulpix. Here I come. I'm Vulpix. I grow more tails as I grow. That's because he called nine tails? Question, how many, Vul how many tails does Vulpix have? Let me know in the comments. Good morning, Simipor. Good morning to you, dearling. I mean, Gumi. Oh, Principal Simipore, good morning. And good morning to you, dearling. Good morning. G good morning, Principal Simipore. You got gate duty today, huh? So let me ask you, sir. Why are you always smirking? I am not smirking. I'm smiling, my boy. I'm just so tickled to see all of you coming to school in such good spirits. More importantly than that, though, class is about to begin. Be off to your seats like a good boy. Yes, sir. How do you know Shelmet's a boy? Hey, Blaze! Where'd you come from, anyway? You know you never told us. Does anybody know where Blaze is from? I have no idea. Well, no, I guess not. That's true, huh? We never even asked, did we? Man, I can't believe I... Yeah, yeah, that's enough from you. Once you start, you never stop, so don't. But isn't it weird that nobody knows where you're from? So tell us. No way. Could you be... Are you from Lively Town? I mean, I might be recording live, but I'm not from Lively Town. What? Lively Town? So that makes you like a city Pokemon, huh, Blaze? So suffocated. Nuzleaf hardly seems like the city type. I think you're on the wrong track. Hmm, what should I do? They'd probably be shocked if I were to tell them the truth. Would any of them even believe me? Then, what's the real answer? Where'd you really come from? But trying to hide the truth won't really gain me anything either. I guess I'll try being honest. What? Blazes! 
from the human world? Like a real life human? But you are undeniably a Pokemon right now, Blaze. What? You got turned into a Pokemon somehow and you don't remember your old life? What? Seems like it really is a shock. Ha! Ha ha ha! Blaze, you're such a liar. What? Now, who would ever believe a made-up story like you being a human? Nobody's ever seen a real human. They only exist in kids' stories. Well, yeah, it is a bit hard to believe, dearling. I don't exactly believe it, but I can't say that I know enough either way. What would Blaze gain from telling such a lie? Esper, if you're gonna make up lies, at least do a better job at making them believable. Ha <laughs> ha. Order! Order the court! What's all this ruckus about now? Teach! Blaze is telling lies! Telling lies? Yeah! Totally unbelievable whoppers! Sometimes the most unbelievable things are the things you should most believe in. That's what I found. Principal Simipore! Perhaps Blaze's story is not true, but who are we to say? And what if it is not a lie? Sometimes unbelievable things do happen, and because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Now that I have, not that I have any idea what kind of tales Blaze may have been telling. The point is just that you children should examine things from many angles and hopefully have fun learning many new things as you do. Change your point of view even a little and you might see an entirely new picture. But now I believe it is time for class to begin. Mr. Farfetch'd, I leave the rest to you. Yes, sir! Let's get started then, class. Today we'll be begin with the tale of the three little Spoink and the Mighty Anna. Now let me see, once upon a time in a far off kingdom, Mr. Farfetch, I don't think that's the right story. Ah, indeed, I apologize. And when third period rolled around... Children, I'll be leading your field trip again today. Also, I'm pleased to announce some special guests. Our friendly local sheriffs are here to assist you in today's lesson. Oh, sweet. Magnets. Wow, real life sheriffs. They're so cool. We're here today to demonstrate to all of you how to use an alliance. An alliance? That's right, an alliance. Your team must all use an alliance together to unleash their moves. It is an absolutely vital skill to have, so be sure that you learn it well. Let's move into the forest to continue the demonstration. Now then, we'll ask these kind officers to perform an alliance for us, so... Students, pay close attention. And you are certain about this. You may even learn consciousness, PPP. It will be fine. Don't you know who I am? I am Demon Lord Watchhog. Half at me, come on. Very well then. Take this. Our perfected triple shock attack, which we just named right now. Wow, they just murdered him. Vice Principal Watchhog. What's this is? Nothing, nothing at all. More importantly, did you all watch carefully how they used an alliance? Allies moving together in an instant? Surrounding a foe to attack all at once? What's more, it deals damage to your enemies even if it's a bad matchup? That is the definition of an alliance. However, if you use this tactic too much, it makes you very hungry, so forewarned. Next up will be you def- Next up, it'll be up to you all to try it out. I guess me. Come at me, bro. Vice Principal Watchdog versus Panship Shulman and Esper. Okay, this is a very important thing. Hat R. Okay. We're gonna... Okay. We're gonna use Arm Thrust. Uh... Pursuit, and I guess Psybeam. You're ready. Oh, 
Oh god, we did like so much. Ah! Ah, you really got me, but I'm not done yet. One more time, let's see another alliance. Come and face me, your illustrious vice principal. Okay. Don't let go of L. Which one's L? Okay. There we go. We defeated him. You got it. Yay, I'm an alliance expert. It looks like you've all been able to get in a bit of practice. I think you sure have the basics of alliances down by now. Now, use them wisely in your adventures. Vice Principal. I'm fine. But I may have underestimated the impact of so many, many moves, even if you are children. You all did a very fine job attacking me, even if you did enjoy it a bit too much. Let's bring this lesson to an end. Please tell me we get to save. Oh wait, no we don't. Bye, Miss Audino. Goodbye for today. Be safe on your way home. Do we get to save now? Like the end of the episode. Anyways, you guys, we're going to go ahead and end today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what was what is your guys' favorite Eevee evolution. And also let me know what is your guys' favorite type of sandwich. And at that note, I'll see you guys all next time.